Hey guys, here is another single engine uh, aircraft, a business aircraft that you may already know of. This is the TBM 930. Oh man, uh, these propellers are larger in person than you would think. Okay. Pretty long nose. Take you around it. If I can talk to somebody, I'll ask a few questions. But this is your luggage compartment here in the front, but I'm sure there's more. There's a two door. Okay, here you can get up front and then you have a larger door back there to get into the rear or get in from the rear. Okay. Okay guys, so to get in, it's got your stairs here. It says the stairs max load one person, handrail, get in. Okay, as you can see, there's four seats. And this is about how much leg room you got. Well, let's, let's sit down here. All right, guys, so I'm in the TBM. Okay, uh, the seats are pretty comfortable for what you probably pay for the price tag of this thing. Um, I'm gonna show you my leg room here now. I'm not sure how how much this will fit for adults you know look how much how much leg I have whoever's gonna sit here um, better have short legs okay and I don't know if these seats are uh, these seats are adjustable or not but you've got four seats here two up front so this will probably sit four to six people hopefully comfortable um, but again the leg room Let's see here. Yep, that's how much leg room we've got. And if I decide to stretch my feet forward, you see this. There's, there's really no, not much room. So I would say back here probably fit good. Maybe two, three adults and some kids, uh, much comfortably. Uh, bigger size people probably would not be as comfortable here. So, right, so I'm back here with Mark. Uh, he's Hello. gonna talk to us a little bit about the TBM 930. Okay, this is one of the aircraft that I follow myself. So I'm, I'm guessing this is your newest line of uh, TBM? Absolutely, the, the upper end of our product offer this year, the TBM okay. 930. Okay, so can you just tell me a little bit about it? What's different from the, uh, from the older model? All right, uh, well what you're seeing here up. is the TBM 900 series platform. So okay. performance of all the TBM 900 aircraft, the 900 series are the same. Right now the offer for 2018 is the TBM 910 and okay. the TBM 930. The 930 is equipped with Garmin G3000 avionics package. Okay, now awesome. your 910 that would be G1000 or basically NXI, the okay. second evolution of the G1000 platform. Okay, awesome. Now I was just I'm going to ask you some practical questions here. I was just in the interior in the back. Let's go that way. Uh, I love that you do have the uh, the bigger doors. I didn't know they actually came with doors in the back like in the PC-12. But uh, to get in, quite easy. Uh, but now, I sat in here, okay? Now, for somebody my frame, I'm nine, uh, 5'10", but I have longer legs. Right. So what would you say is more fitting? Actually, first, are these seats adjustable or? Absolutely adjustable. Okay. And then basically, what we try to do as an airframer is uh -huh. to design a very versatile product so the customer that owns the aircraft has to make less compromise. Okay. In doing that, there's 19 seat configurations. And right here, you are seeing the most popular version, which is club seating. Okay. Now, in that club seating, uh, it's more of a family environment or a business corporate culture where you can hold your meeting and your briefing en route to your destination. Okay. Club seating just means, meaning we're facing forward. Right. But these middle seats here are certified to face forward direction where all seats can face forward. Okay. And in that configuration, more like a little mini airliner or microliner, right. uh, there's a little bit more privacy. Okay. And in that privacy, when I look over my shoulder when we're flying to point B, is mostly people in the back are asleep. 
in the club seating configuration, there's less people sleeping. Okay, wow. Uh, but it also allows you to engage in conversation. Okay. So if it was a longer flight, the there more popular seat is actually the one on the right, and that will be in the reclined position. You can truly sit back and relax. Oh, wow, awesome. Now, I think our average seat capacity is somewhere like between 1.7 and 2.3 if you average out all the flights. Sometimes they're solo. Sometimes oh, wow. there's six people on board and you manage your payload. But basically, with full fuel, you've got four adults and you're going somewhere uh, with full fuel. We could cut across the country with one fuel stop. Oh, wow. That's awesome. She does fly at a good pace. So one of the nice things about having adjustable seats like this, though, is if we had external baggage, you're not getting access to your baggage, but in here... You can access two-thirds of the baggage on board the aircraft or luggage space. So if I need to get to my briefcase or I left my attache case in the back, you have access to it. Okay. And that's pressurized. External baggage tends to be unpressurized. That so was... if someone doesn't know how to pack shampoo, it's going to be everywhere. So normally what I do as a, as a pilot is I put my stuff in the forward external baggage compartment and I ask my passengers to load in the back. Okay. And that way you have less compression, decompression spillage. Awesome. My, that was going to be my next question, but you touched on it. I was going to ask if the cabin is pressurized or if you... Yeah, it's pressurized at the 6.2 pressure differential, so basically okay. at 31,000 feet. You have about a 9,800 foot cabin altitude, so we keep that cabin pressure below 10,000 feet. Okay. And that's just normally regulated by the Garmin G1000 avionics suite. It's incorporated into the workload of that system. All right, awesome. Two more questions. Go ahead. Uh, one... Who is the typical customer? Who is buying this and what are they typically using this aircraft for? I think the, the original core would be more of an entrepreneurial type that needs to meet people and travel great distances quickly on their own schedule. So you're looking more of an owner flown type platform. Okay. But that's with the 700 and 850. When you come into the 900, due to the performance and capabilities of the aircraft, approaching the design with more versatility, we start to attract the charter market for entry-level turbine operations, getting into smaller airstrips. And that's what the advantage is. I can go into LAX, mingle at 250 knots with aircraft doing 160 knots in an intermediate 2,000 foot airstrip. Wow, awesome. Okay, now my last question. What's it going to cost you? What's the what's the price tag on this, baby? Uh, basically, in the TBM uh, 910, you're looking at about a 3.9 million full, complete service Fully. package. Okay. On the 930, which you see here before you, uh -huh. you're, you're over 4 million. 4 million. So, four million. this, as shown, this model is about 4 million. Uh, you can push up to you know, over 4.2. 4.2. All right, awesome. Thank you so much, Mark. Absolutely. I man. really appreciate it.